And Mr. Speaker, let's cut to the chase. I support this legislation. It wasn't an easy decision, but I believe that Democrats are able to get a lot of policies into the bill that's good for middle class. It's going to help 16 million Americans out of poverty. In New Jersey, 435,000 children and 219,000 families will lose some or all of their working family tax credits if we don't do this. This package includes a, a bill introduced by my friend Tom Reed and myself to help put people back to work. Our tax credit for businesses who hire long-term unemployed Americans, and we've abandoned them, let's face it, that will help those families who haven't yet felt the effects of our economic recovery. Another bill, Mr. Riker from Washington and I co-authored, supports our nation's hardworking teachers you heard him speak about it just several minutes ago. Both of these bills are part of the tax package before us today. And as someone said, Mr. Blumenauer from Oregon said, these things pass routinely anyway. Who the heck are we kidding? The enemy of the good is the perfect. Over and over again, we proved that here on this floor. An important provision allowing public safety officers to withdraw from their pensions when they retire early without a tax penalty is included in this package. There are provisions that support mass transit commuters, small businesses, low-income housing, families paying for college economic development. And the earned income tax credit and the child tax credit are our biggest forces against poverty in this country, in this nation. I can't say enough about the significance of making these enhanced credits permanent. But when faced with the choice between these important priorities for families, for teachers, for public safety officers, I simply can't in good conscience vote against them to prove a point that not everything is in there, including the kitchen sink. The bill is far from perfect. And in conclusion, let me say this, Mr. Chairman, I think this has been a civil debate, and that's healthy for us, all of us, regardless of where, what happens in the vote. Thank you. Gentlemen, time has expired. Gentleman from Michigan Reserves, gentleman from Texas.